Like I look, I, I want the dogs to be happy. I, I hope every dog has a happy, great life on a farm with my dad. <laughs> but most of you aren't. Okay, you, you're not going to get to chase rats as my dad kills them with his combine. That's the dog life. <laughs> That's the dog's life until yeah. one day you run too fast and you go into the combine yourself. And then it's over like that. You don't have to die that slow, pitiful <laughs> death where you got to. Here's what they say on Reddit now. Little little Timothy crossed the rainbow bridge today. I wish they'd just be honest. I gassed my dog who was in pain today. This is the <laughs> last this is the last iPhone picture I took before I let the strangers kill him. Like. <laughs> Oh, oh your fucking euphemisms <laughs> and colorful Aww. fucking language. Cross the rainbow bridge. Kiss my ass, the rainbow yeah. bridge. This ain't Thor. No, I eat I eat. <laughs> you think my Idris dogs Elba's in there? Old. I use every him into part. Sleep? No. Wings said that it was part of a man's duty to put his dog down himself with the firearm. Do you think that was... Wow, what a pussy. I use my own two hands. <laughs> uh, well, did that he say thing? that? What, was that yeah. in the same? That was in the same conversation about the cat, though, wasn't it? I I don't remember him saying that, and I'm quite the historian. But if he did say that, I wouldn't say that he's entirely wrong. Um, that's how you know, like I've put do dogs down that way, and their pain is ended instantly, and you feel good about what's happened because usually, if you're doing that to a dog, its guts are hanging out because it just got crushed by a vehicle, and every moment of its life is awful and you're just crying while you kill it's the dog going to die like yeah. I, I, I i do have i do have a horrific uh dog put down story no thanks oh, <laughs> <laughs> no no that sounds good Fair for enough. a laugh Come on. Okay. <laughs> so my dad uh back when he was younger he used to be sort of a foreman up on a cold job uh up at a, str a strip mine up in kentucky and he had this Doberman that he had bought. He said it was like he put thousands of dollars into, you know, getting it from a breeder, training it professionally. And it was the dumbest dog he ever had. This thing would just like get away from him. It always like re just ran out into the woods. He'd have to go find it. Well, one day he brings it up to uh, the top of a strip job where um, they're up on top of a cliffside. And I think what happened is the cliff started to give way. So everyone started panicking. They're like, all right, move the trucks off, move the dozers off the side. So dad's trying to coordinate this. And what had happened whenever he got there is he put the dog in the truck and the dog managed to like, he had the windows down, dog jumps out the window and it just disappeared. He didn't see it. Well, while all these bulldozers are moving, he hears, Arr! and what had happened is this dog just laid down in dozer tracks. And as the dozer was coming for it, just didn't move. So dad, he's like, oh no. So he takes the dog, puts it in his truck and he was staying in like, I'm sorry, Kyle. He was staying. He was staying on site there at the bottom of the hill. So he drives down the bottom of the hill. He gets the dog out and he lays it on his porch. And he thought the dog was dead. Like it's quiet laying there. He's like, "Oh man, this is so sad." But I, I've got guys up there with equipment. It's a dangerous situation. I got to go back. So he goes back up the hill, handles that for about half an hour. He drives back down afterwards. And what had happened is the dog was not dead. Instead, the dog had used its front, its back end was flat. It used its front paws to drag itself into the road and got hit by a car. <laughs> so that, and it was still alive. It was still alive. So dog's like, oh, dad's like, oh, my word, it's broken on both ends. He drags it around to the back of the house and he gets a gun, to put it down. And he looks down at it and the dog looks up at him with these sad eyes and dad like starts to cry and he's like, I can't look. So he turns away <laughs> and fires and puts around straight into its heart <laughs> and it starts screaming and shouting. So dad screams back at it like, ah, and unloads the mag into the dog. And every time, Jesus. He, tells, every time he tells that story, he's like, yeah, I didn't have a dog for a while after that i needed time <laughs> you were right that was awful it was that a, yeah, he got hit by a dozer then he gets run over by a truck by car, and then he gets shot, shot. <laughs> several <laughs> times <laughs> oh. wow. he didn't deserve that no he didn't he did not mm. but he's no. in heaven he's uh, yeah, what he you say, dancing the on the ridge. rainbow he crossed, crossed the rainbow road. <laughs> <laughs> but in real no. life he's dead no, yeah, no, I, I, I remember, I remember like what will the be <laughs> like will in the blackness in the blackness, <laughs> the nothingness. <laughs>